Howdy guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Boris and you're watching another episode of What's Up Hotshot. Today I'm gonna do a uh, video log. My day has already started at 5 and it was still dark so I didn't film that part but I'll take you guys along for the rest of the day and uh, throughout this week I'll probably make it a week long video log. So let you guys know what loads I have, how things are going. Uh, yeah. So if that's of interest of you, stay tuned. So I just got fuel here at the Maverick. It is at uh, along I-90. Great when you get into Idaho, they have the cheapest fuel right here. And uh, they also have pretty good breakfast, I just uh, Picked up one of these sausage, egg and cheese bun, that's they're pretty good, and uh, a, a bacon breakfast burrito. So I'm just putting, uh, recording my uh, fuel lock here on my ELT. So I'm almost done with that, and then we'll hit the road again. Um, I just want to try and get to Missoula as quickly as possible right now. Got a load on the back here. Uh, yeah, you can't really see it, but we'll, uh, we'll show you guys that probably when I get there before I unload it or when I have to stop for a 30 minute break or something. Um, it was at uh, 5 a.m. when I got up this morning and so I drove for a couple hours till it got light before I started filming. I'm just trying to get to Missoula as soon as I can today um, so hopefully I can drop this load off there as well as pick up something else before all the businesses close. <laughs> the drop-off in downtown Missoula at some construction site. I actually don't see anyone around here. I'm parked just around the corner. And it's really tight. I don't even know where they want me to go with my load to get in here. Plus I don't even see anyone here. When I called earlier they said there was going to be someone here to unload me. So hopefully um, I can find him. Or maybe it's supposed to be across the street here over there. They're building something there too. Uh, I'm just parked right here. They told me to come in on the south side on this street because it's actually a one way, so I don't know. This is, I think this is where I'm supposed to be, that's what they told me. I'm not even sure what this is really. I think these are cables for an uh, elevator. That would be my guess, but I'm not sure on that. And then there's a bunch of other parts in this box and a pallet up front, plus another small little box of parts that I have in the car. Um, so I'll make some calls and hopefully we can get this dropped off and unload it and onto my next load. All right, I just gave him a call. I think I am in the right place. I think they're going to send someone down here to open this gate for me. And uh, well, it looks like there's some people showing up right there right now. And they're gonna use this crane, I think, to unload me, so they'll be interesting. All right, here we are. There go the cables. Never been unloaded by a crane like this before. This thing is huge. And uh, the guy just told me, I guess these cables, they go into the concrete. And uh, that helps absorb the shocks or something. I don't know, pretty cool. Something else every day. Never know where you're gonna end up or what your next load is going to be. It's never the same thing twice, so this is pretty cool. Takes me all across the country. Yeah, I, I enjoy doing it. Alright, I left Missoula after dropping off that load. And uh, we are here kind of small little town, somewhere in Montana, about 45 minutes from Missoula. And I was able to pick up this load of lumber. I just put on my trailer. It's already wrapped, but for some reason they also want me to tarp it. This, this stuff is probably going to rip anyway, so it's not a bad idea. It just takes a lot of time. And uh, I don't have too much time left, so I'm going to try and tarp this real quick, but I probably won't film any of it just so I can hit the road. And uh, things go really well. I might actually be able to make it back home tonight, or if not, somewhere close to there. We'll see. 
the sun was just coming out for a little bit uh, so I was tarping up the load here it's actually not a bad day it's a little cold out here that got her all tarped up I didn't realize uh, that I left most of my bungees with my other trailer so I didn't have that many but that still worked out I think I'll stay on here it's a nice low little load so it's not too windy today so just put two straps over it that way uh, DOT will be happy even though it's probably not gonna go anywhere with the bungees on it so yeah time to hit the road just only got a couple more hours of daylight, so try and make it as far as I can. Yeah, beautiful out here in Montana. Quick stop at the pilot here. Got the windows washed. They were getting super dirty. You can actually see out of them again now. like load this all good and secure no issues there sometimes the back end will start to flop around it's best to uh, put a long piece of wood all the way across it but I don't have anything with me right now so I'm gonna go inside get a little bit of food to go um, there's also a McDonald's over here I think so I'll probably walk over there and then get back on the road um, about another four hours or so for me to go home and have like four and a half hours of driving time left so hopefully I can make it all the way home we'll see all right today is Tuesday here's the truck and I'm at a Copart auto auction location I'm uh, picking up a car here I was able to uh, make it back home last night so that worked out pretty well uh, barely had any time left and then uh, what I did this morning is uh, since I have two trailers right now I uh, left my other trailer unhooked it and I hooked up this empty trailer so I can go pick up this load this morning then I'm gonna go ahead and drive back home and uh, switch out trailers again and then drop off my other load first um, directly done that before it's kind of complicated uh, probably doesn't make much sense for anyone to do that but I have to go pick up a car that I won at Copart in Salt Lake City um, the one I'm picking up here is just the load I got off the load board um, but uh, it is going to Salt Lake City and I had to find a load going to Salt Lake City this week um, otherwise I'm gonna have to end up paying a lot of storage on the car that I want there so um, this is the only load I could find going to Salt Lake City so I think it's a Ram pickup truck that they're gonna load on here I'm just waiting I got checked in at the yard here um, usually it always takes a little while one time I was at a Copart yard and uh, somewhere in California and I had to wait over four hours but hopefully that won't be the case here it looks like there's no one else here like this whole lot is empty so sometimes after an auction ends there will be like tons of car transporters lined up out here and it just takes forever I don't think this location is bad but like I said that one in California was terrible for waiting well anyway we'll wait to get loaded and I'll show you guys the load and then uh, I'll drive back by my home and switch out trailers again and I should still have enough time to drop off the other load on uh, Western Washington I'm near Spokane right now driving home last night I noticed that the exhaust was kind of louder than it normally is and look at what happened the muffler on the back part there the exhaust pipe came off the muffler there so that is why that's being so loud I'm gonna see if I can pop it back in there real quick and uh, probably try and fix it when I get back home Hey, right, they're about to load me here. That's the car that's going on the trailer. Got this big excavator that is kind of forklifted on there. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna give them directions so well, shit. Oh crap. My uh, exhaust is rusted through. This side right here is completely rusted through. So that came loose. I was still held up by the hanger in here. 
So that's just kind of, I noticed the uh, exhaust was louder than it normally is. Looked underneath there and saw it came loose. Was still held in place by, by this hanger, thankfully. So made it home, had to lift it up, chuck the front wheels, um, just to try and get this exhaust to come out. It was a real pain. Finally got it out. I still gotta go all the way to the west side. I don't know if I'm gonna make it on time. Always something. Well guys, the delay with my exhaust and trying to get that off um, so I could keep going and not have it fall off on the road somewhere. Um, that ended up taking up quite a bit of time and then I had another delay kind of this morning. Uh, I was thinking uh, instead of switching out trailers I would just use my other truck but for some reason uh, the, the plug-in for the uh, the trailer connector wasn't working I couldn't get the lights to come on or the the trailer brakes to work so I had to bend that plan and then transfer all my gear back to the white truck and unhook it from the one trailer hook it up to the other trailer so that took a bit of extra time and this whole day uh, I should have had plenty of time really to, to get this load done and the other one picked up but the weather has been causing quite a bit of delays too. It's been really foggy all day. It's cleared up a little here and there, uh, but it never got above uh, freezing today. So it's been icy on the road. Uh, lots of black ice in, in places where I am right now, not too bad, but uh, I passed a semi on the road earlier and it had a dry fan and it looked like someone took a can opener to it. I was like, all sheared off and a couple other accidents bigger ones along the road so I've just been taking it slow uh, that black ice is like really uh, dangerous you gotta really you can't really see it and so yeah you want to take it slow and make sure you get there you know better to get there late than dead on time so you know but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to make it to my drop-off today. Um, I should have enough time, but I know I'm going to hit rush hour traffic according to my GPS. I still have enough time to make it there just before they close, but I know traffic around Greater Seattle area. I lived over there for 10 years. As soon as you get close to 4 or 5, it's going to be crit locked, and I'm going to get there right at rush hour, and it's going to take... You know, I'm just gonna sit there and stop and go traffic for two hours and I'm gonna get there way too late. So I decided to stop here and uh, I'm in Cleelum right now. There's a, there's a good Thai restaurant here. So I'm just gonna get some food here. And then I'll drive another hour. I probably have another hour before it gets dark out. So I just place my order. I'm waiting for them to do that. I get it to go and then uh, Drive another hour, probably stop at the next rest area or something or somewhere. Have dinner and just wait out the rush hour traffic and uh, I'll just drop this load off first thing tomorrow morning. Unfortunately, that uh, is kind of going to screw me for the rest of the week, but it is what it is. It's uh, definitely not a typical week, but there's really never a typical week in hot shot trucking anyway. So, well, we'll make the best of it. At least now I got plenty of time to get there. I can just take my time going across Snoqualmie Pass. I don't know what it's gonna be like. I expect it will be icy. Um, so, we'll just take it slow and easy and get there safely. This is more important than uh, like getting there quickly. That's just gonna screw me for the rest of the week because I was hoping to head back home after I drop this off, just dead head home. So that way this trailer I have uh, is the one that I'm gonna sell or retire and uh, hopefully buy another longer trailer. So I don't wanna keep driving with this trailer so I probably have to dead head home. So that way the trailer is empty and I got the other load on the other trailer and I'll keep using that from there on out. Um, but now maybe if I'm still there 
well I will still be there tomorrow morning so maybe I find another load that goes back to the east side or something I can maybe still make a little bit but most likely I'll probably dead head back anyway and then uh, unfortunately it'll take up too many hours for me to drive back tomorrow to still really get anywhere after I get home I could probably still drive another five hours but I think I I end up losing a day um, and won't get to Salt Lake City on time but we'll see maybe I find another good load to uh, to at least make something but oh uh, it is it is what it is that's that's how it goes you know uh, sometimes you have really good weeks and uh, you end up getting a good paying partial and then being able to stack on another really good paying partial and you know everything goes well and other weeks it just doesn't go that well and you know at least I'm, I'm not the guy that uh, in the semi that uh, you know wrecked on the side of the road or, or one of the other accidents I saw so I can deal with the exhaust falling off or almost falling off and uh, I can keep driving just with that pulled off it's it's right it's the section that's right uh, after the muffler so it just blows it on on the ground instead of going out to the to the side of my car so it's not that bad I can keep driving with it for a little bit longer until I can uh, get a replacement ordered and get it put on but I can do that with myself I just have to order it and and pull it in the shop and fix it whenever the parts get here so not too bad I got quite a bit of uh, video just of these two days on the road already so I think I'll probably split off uh, this vlog into two different sections and this will just be part one of the vlog and then uh, we'll pick it up again tomorrow morning with part two and I'll probably post that by the weekend and since I have a little bit of extra time right now I can uh, Go ahead and post this vlog uh, or this section of the vlog right now we'll call this part one and I'll try and post it and then uh, probably next weekend we'll post part two so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, I think it's kind of fun to, to make a video log and uh, friends and family could watch it too if they're uh, wondering what I'm up to what I'm doing what it's what it's like to be out here on the road so I'll probably do a couple more but leave me a comment let me know what you guys think and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one thanks